can you hear me now? <laughs> Do, Do I, I have, have sound? sound? I, I am saying something. something. I, I am. am. <laughs> Okay, it's here, here, but, but I have an echo. echo. Why, Why do I have an echo? echo? Is, is it echoing? echoing? Okay, okay, wait a minute. minute. So, so let, let me, me shut off that. Is it better now? Am I still echoing? So I shut off my other microphone. Hi, Josh. Uh, okay. It must have been the Yeti picking up along with my webcam. So if the sound acts up, I know to switch the other two around. So weird. I'm going to learn this OBS thing so I can fix it myself. When I have time. Hi, Vic. So these are, let me get this apron on real quick because I have a white shirt on. Yikes. White shirts are not good for paint nights, but oh well. Welcome, guys, to Tutorial Thursday. So we did. The last time we were on, we did the pearl pours. This one did not go crazy, but it did get some cool things in it. And I like just that little cluster of pearls there. Dried pretty. And I love this one. I like it this way. Hi, Ben. Mr. Ben's out here with me. I thought you could turn it that way too. I think it's pretty cool. And the pearls are really pretty. So that's those two. The um, Dutch bar we did was a total fail. I've already tossed. <laughs> it went butt body. Vinny, I have nothing for you, honey. I'm sorry. He thinks I have something up here for him. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go see your babies. Go watch your babies. He loves his babies. So tonight we're going to do a dirty cup flip and drag. And when I say dirty cup, we're going to pour the paint up high so the colors mix. And we'll do a flip and drag. I want to do it on black. Um, I have black. I got a peek. Nope, guess we're doing it on white. <laughs> I don't have enough black for this canvas. Okay, and we are going to use up, uh, and I don't care about how much white shows up on the background. But I want to use up these interference colors we have from DecoArt Enchanted. These do have silicone. So tonight we're going to use these up because they got to go. They've been sitting too long. So we're going to use the magenta, the interference blue, Alley Kate, the turquoise. Uh, we'll save the green for our dirty pour, dirty ribbon pour. Yeah, your tumbler wobbles, Brian, because you did the dragon scales on the bottom. I don't put them on the bottom. But it is still cool looking. You can sand it, Brian. Sand it off.
Mo odo. It's <laughs> gonna be clowning around. Everybody ready for Christmas? Cause we're really not like some celebrating Christmas here. <laughs> so I was thinking I might ask Alan for a puppy for Christmas. <laughs> He's gonna ask me tomorrow what I want for Christmas because he loves to go shopping Christmas Eve. And I'm gonna tell him, you can just go right over there to that whelping box and I want the one in the blue collar. <laughs> make it so easy for him. I can't help it. I'm so attached to Twig. He's so stinking cute. And they're eating mush now. And it's so cute to watch them eat. He is a cutie carry. He just crawls up on me and snuggles in with me and licks my chin and gives me kisses and Ellie jumped in the whelping box last night and sniffed them and was being so gentle so we might be able to let her play with them in a week or so but they're gonna get weaned hopefully we'll be done with Ellie within the next week she won't have to nurse anymore all right so I need to pick up some colors to go with these gorgeous colors here. So what I want to do is pick um, like a dark, something to go with the magenta, something to go with the blue, and something to go with the turquoise. All right. So let's take the eggplant. This has silicone to go with the magenta. And we'll take Let's do Carolina Blue to go with the blue. And then for the turquoise, let's go with, oh, let's go with Sleeping Beauty since this is still full. I don't even use it. Don't know why. So I've been making the dog food, making their mush, and I'm using ground up puppy food, and I'm adding goat's milk from the store. Um, Walmart carried it, thank God, because I didn't want to buy the powdered stuff, but I do, I do have it in case I need it. And then I add some baby rice cereal, and then one little spoonful of pumpkin, and that keeps them um, regulated is what I guess I want to say so it makes it so they don't get runny runny stools or whatever but it's so cute to watch them the first time they walked over to it they would like touch it with their mouths and then they were like oh, this is pretty good I think I'm gonna eat this I mean they're eating like maybe a tablespoonful they're still not like starving to get in there and like really wolf on it but at least they're eating it all right Get our white down. So I do have a premiere up for Saturday. If you're not celebrating Christmas Eve, come hang out with me at seven. If you're not busy. So what I'm doing a flip and drag, I like to get as much paint off the canvas as possible. And you don't want a lot of paint on there. Because you really don't want to have to tilt anything just to stretch your paint out that you put on. So if you get most of your white base off, you shouldn't run into too many problems. Uh, 
Okay. So now we're gonna work on our cup. I am gonna remember to spray my cup. If I can find my spray, oh my goodness. Nothing's where it's supposed to be today. Okay. So I'm just using the WD-40 silicone spray. I'm just going to wipe it a little bit because I don't want a puddle of silicone to come out. I'd rather get most of it out on my glove but um, coat the cup. Yes, hit that thumbs up guys. I appreciate it. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Carolina Blue. And then I'm going to add the Interference Blue from DecoArt. I'm not layering, I'm just pouring it in. Then we're going to do the Eggplant. And then the Magenta. This would have come out so much prettier on black, but I didn't have any. Okay, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. We're going to knock that down with the interference turquoise. And of course I have more than half a cup of paint, but like I said, this is going to be a dirty drag. Hi Georgianne, welcome. Okay, so I'm not even going to swirl or anything. Or do I want to? I think maybe I should since it's a dirty flip, a dirty drag. Okay, let's flip it. I'm gonna heat up my push pin. Brian always tells me to heat up my push pin. He knows everything. And I'm just going to go ahead and just move this paint around the canvas. It's a lot of paint. Let it drip over the edge because I don't need all that. I do love that pile of blue there. Hi, Emily. Okay, now that's pretty cells popping up. I kind of like this here. Just wondering if I can maneuver this to have this be a vertical piece instead of a horizontal piece. That is a lot of blue there though, isn't it? Ooh, here we go. So I'm just going to grab my white here, and I'm going to grab that lip. Just break up that blue just a little bit, because it was just a little too much blue. Let me torch it now and see. Okay, we got some cells coming through. We're good. All right. I do love this, so I don't want to. I'm gonna pour a little bit more off, and I'm gonna bring it down. I don't want to move that too much, but I do want to open this up here, so we can have this as a vertical piece. Just a little bit more color in that one. So got a shallow spot there. Okay, now I can pull it back. And I'm gonna dump some more paint off this other end. Okay, I should 
should be good there. It shouldn't crack as long as because this is going to get moved to the rack. If I leave a painting here on the table, it cracks. Let me feel my ear. The air blows right around. That's true, Georgie, and I love blue. <laughs> I love blue, but a lot of people paint with blue, and it's like, oh, another blue one. But it's the most easiest color to work with in fluid art. There's lots of pretty shades of blue. All right, let's airbrush a little bit of this out. I don't like that lumpy look there. So I am gonna do a little bit of airbrushing. I'm really gonna try not to have it go over the sides. So I'm gonna take this off here. Because if I do, it'll just keep bleeding over. All right, so we're not gonna blow any of this here where it's more paint, but I do love this here. And we're gonna accentuate that and we're gonna do a little bit of something here. So I'm gonna start on that side first. So this is the airbrush that I have in my Amazon shop. It blows 25 PSI. It's a countertop model. I keep mine on the floor so you don't have to listen to it. And when I'm blowing my edges, I'm just coming in at an angle. I hold it like a pencil. Come in at an angle and I start up high. As soon as I see the paint move, that tells me where to go with my airbrush. You don't want to like gouge into your paint or it's all going to go. Like that. So I want to just show you just a little bit what can happen when you push too hard. Everything's fixable. Remember that. Okay, so I do love that, but here's the thing that I don't like. This little bubble at the end, I don't like that. So I always touch it, and it gives me a point. Okay, so now here I have a shadow. So I do want to open that up a little bit. I don't want that huge line of shadow. So what I'm doing is taking that coating off that eggplant and moving it out just a little bit. Because I think that's the um, interference that's sitting on top of it. So I'm going to leave it just like this. So I opened it up and makes it look more scaly. It has no oomph. <laughs> That's not good. All right, so now we're going to work on this side. Now that I have it pushed out, I'm going to go ahead and play with it a little bit. I don't want that hook. It's very light. I just want to mess it up a little bit because it's a little too ribbony. Oh no, Kath, we're doing it today, just at 8.30. Because I didn't want to miss Brian's um, collab piece. And he ended up missing most of it because he's stuck on a flight. So it was sad. But he did a good job. So if you guys get a chance, go back and watch Brian's collab piece. Brian's upper belly. We have 
two more days of that. It was a very fun collab to do at the Massey Art Studio. stuff that opens up in here and then I'll lift it up and show it to you up close Yeah, it was fun. Of course, I took a lot of heat on the eight maids of milk, and guys, I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> I had a couple of rude comments that I deleted. Apparently, they didn't see the eights, and they didn't understand me milking the eights off the canvas. But whatever. It is what it is. Okay, here we go. So all that white that's in there is interference, so that's all going to dry to the shade of the interference that it uh, was against. So this will be fun to see this one dry. Thank you, Shelly. Okay, so I'm going to put it over on the drying rack. stuff. I am going to leave these interference colors out and these colors that I used. I don't know why I put tops on them. So I do want to move this um, paper. So I'm going to do an 11 by 14 dirty ribbon. You don't need a base coat for a dirty ribbon for getting attacked by cork. <laughs> I have a roll of cork over here that just slid down onto my foot like, hello. Okay. So I'm all set up for my next one. I kind of lasagna my pan. Red was the uh, eggplant. Okay. So we're going to use the same colors. I'm going to add a gold. And I'm going to add some black. And I think a chestnut bronze would be pretty in there too, just a little bit. So this is a 11 by 14 gallery wrap. So I want to use three cups. I'm not going to fill them all the way so that I can have a little more control where I want paint. First color in is last color out. So we want to make sure that we uh, spray these a little bit and we don't put a color out that we don't want a lot of and you definitely don't want to put a metallic on the bottom because it'll just sit on top of your painting where'd you go Brian <laughs> just kidding you gotta harass Brian okay let me mix these up real quick. Yeah, they it dries really dark. Let me see if I have a jar handy. 
it dries this dark. That's pretty dark compared to the jar, the color of the jar. It's a super dark and it's kind of shimmery. It's really pretty. Okay. Yeah, the eggplant has been pretty popular. I've sold a lot of eggplant. It's just a nice dark color for fall and winter. It's a beautiful color for contrast. If you're doing something with black and gold. You want those aren't giant jars, Brian, they're eight ounce. They're not giant, honey. I have 16 ounces. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I think I'm going to do the eggplant first because I don't have a lot of it. So that's going to be our top color. And we're going to throw that magenta right on top of it. See, just a little bit of that. To drizzle. All right, and then on top of that, let's put the chestnut bronze. Okay, let's separate it all with some black. This is black ice. It's not a true black. Um, you got to be careful what you put next to it because it will break it down a little bit. You'd never want to use this next to a yellow or a lighter color. Okay, so let's go with, let's do our interference turquoise. Save just a little bit to drizzle. And then we'll do our Sleeping Beauty. I want to go ahead and go right in with the Carolina Blue. And then we're going to add the Interference Blue. Because that Carolina Blue will dry a little darker. The dots are going crazy in the house. We are not doing New Year's Eve, no, Brian. If I could figure out a way to run a puppy cam, I probably would, but that means I'd have to set the camera up in my bedroom and that doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> All right, let's go back with some more eggplant. Oh my goodness, Ellie. She has done nothing but bark today. She's terrible. And her puppy, Lily, is just like her. She reminds me of Ellie when Ellie was a puppy. There a lemon law for dogs. <laughs> I didn't use up the green, guys. I'm sorry. We'll have to find another project for the green. Okay, chestnut bronze. I'm gonna go a little easy on that now because I'm not putting as much of the other stuff in. Yes, sponsor giveaway will be January 1st. Yes. Black ice. All right. And then I'm going to do the interference turquoise. Use that up. Oh, I love emptying containers. I get them off my shelf that way. Carolina 
moment, Lou. Okay, we'll use up the interference blue. So now remember, we didn't put any white in here, so any white you see in the painting is the interference. All right, and I'm going to tap it off with the eggplant because I need to fill this bottle. So I might as well use it up. Nice thing about lining your bottles with plastic. When you're done, oops, when you're done, just pull it out. Why are you not pulling it out? I had air in there. And you don't have to wash your bottle. You're just going to put a new bag in. All you got to do is wash your cap. Vicki, I promise you in 2023, I will do something green and yellow just for you. She loves her green and yellow. It's just spoiled. Okay, let's give them a tiny swirl. I'm just going to do an S. Just kind of marries the layer a little bit. That stick. It's pretty. So this is going to be a colorful painting for sure. Yeah, the one thing you want to remember if you're using the bags though, when you put your lid on, hold that bag tight so it doesn't twist. Because if it twists, your paint's not going to come out. You'll be squeezing so hard. All right, here we go. So I've watched people try to do the dirty ribbon pours after watching me. You really got to let the paint out of the cup. You can't pinch the cup. You really have to go fast. So I just kind of do a dump and swirl. Because you want those big wide ribbons. That's where your color's at. Okay, cup number two. I do have my black there. I have a pile of that. That's probably going to get tilted off. So I'm going to come this way with this one just to mix it up a little bit. And I like to cross over. It gives it a little more depth and a little more interest. So I don't need that whole cup on the next one. So I'm going to just use a little bit just to place. I don't want all that burgundy, all that eggplant coming out. So I'm going to just drizzle here, bring a little bit in. And I'm just going to place color where I want something to break up. Just to add interest, maybe a fine line through there. And then I think we're good. don't like that line. I gotta redo it. That's better. I wanted it a little more wavy. <laughs> I got more wave in it that time. Alright. Let me give it a quick torch and get some of the air out. I wanted this to be kind of a crazy, dirty pour with ribbons and, oh, look at the cells that came up there. See all those? The torch is your friend when you're using silicone. This, I'm not, I love this band here, but I'm not too fond of how that mixed, so I'm going to go ahead and let that go over first. But what I like to do first is just kind of move it around with a little shimmy here and there just to connect if I have like these open spots, just to connect. All 
Alright, so let's head down there. I've got all my paint going in one area. It's a quick over the side. So when I do that corner, I like to come right over to this corner. Because it does stretch out the paint. And it helps you, if there's some part you don't like, it's easier to get rid of. Remember that white is interference. It's going to dry all shiny. Okay, let's go hit this corner here. And then we'll come right on down to this one. Oh, that corner is so pretty. I hate to lose all that. I still have a lot of paint here, so I'm going to come back to this corner here, because it doesn't really catch my eye with that chestnut bronze just sitting there. So I'm going to go right to the blue. Okay, that's better. So my wiggle line totally changed into a band of cells, which is really cool is that <laughs> you see it it's just a black dot with some cells in it it looks like a little creature <laughs> with beady eyes <laughs> it is cute though it looks like a little I don't know like a little black penguin or something <laughs> Let's torch. So I do have some sides, I, this side here I have to cover, and a little bit here and there, a little bit on that corner. I do have some in my cup, which I can just drag over this side. So that way I'm not picking up mucky paint. Runoff is pretty. Okay, let me work on this side here a little bit. Just to get that covered. I didn't take a lot of paint over the edge when I tilted because I didn't want to lose my pretty stuff. But where I did take it over, I covered. Okay, I'm good now. Everything's covered. Alright. So this is when I do a little bit of adjusting if something looks too stretched. It out. There we go. That one band was a little too tight. Right through here. So I fixed it. I fixed it. Let's give it a final torch now that it's set for a minute. Creature is changing. He's getting bigger beady eyes. He's got lots of eyes now. <laughs> so this is what you get when you're using silicone. You get a ton of cells. Um, I could have done this without silicone, but there's no interest in it. It's just like a straight pour, and it doesn't doesn't do anything for me um, when I'm looking for those bands of color that intertwine together, you don't really get that effect when you're doing it without silicone. So there's my little guy. He 
changed. <laughs> but there's a lot of pretty stuff in this. I can't wait to see when the eggplant is dry. All that interference will be either turquoise or magenta or blue. It's probably going to be blue because it's next to the blue. But it'll all be shiny. So that came out really cool. Let me wipe this off. I have enough paint in that cup. I might be able to do a tile so we can see what it looks like on a tile. leftover paint. I like to dip my tile to get it wet. Get in there. So I'm going to scrape all this to one side. Beautiful lines there. And whatever I don't use, I can I can't use this as a base coat for a painting, so I don't save it because it has silicone in it. All right, let's dip this tile just to get it wet. That way, when I do the pour over it, I can stretch it quicker. Someone's coming to see me. Who is it? Oh, it's both of them. <laughs> Great. All right, so I'm going to stretch that out. I only have two tiles prepped, so I'm only going to do two. Hi, baby. What are you doing, Finny? Huh? Why are you not hanging out with Daddy? Or is it Daddy feeding puppies? Okay. Kind of like this little band of cloudiness cells. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Alright, let's torch it. cells that popped up. All right, let's leave this sit here so we can see if it changes a lot as those cells grow. Okay, one more tile just to get it wet. It's kind of like my flow extender for my dirty ribbon. Okay. Look how pretty that cup is right now. Well, that's gonna come out on here. different than the first one, but it's the same colors. And I do have some interference color in there. So 
let's switch these out. I can show you the first one. Interesting. It's got like bellies in it. It's kind of cool actually, I like it. Let me move that one. Okay. Wow, this one changed really quick. Super pretty. So I'm happy with both of those. You know, I don't have my box of singles anymore because Alan sold them all, so I can start my new box of singles. <laughs> well, guys, that's all I have for tonight. I didn't want to go too late. Um, it's the holiday season. People are probably tired getting ready for the holidays. I know I am tired. It's not because of the holidays. <laughs> it's because of poppies. Um, so, next week we will be live Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Nope, I'm sorry. We'll still be live Monday night. Oh boy, I almost screwed that one up. So we have our last Monday night live next week and our last tutorial Thursday and then January 1st is the sponsored giveaway if you donated to the channel via Amazon purchase for me PayPal tips super chats um, sending me stuff I always write it down when someone sends me stuff so all of that put your name into the giveaway now remember, if you can't afford to donate to the channel, that's fine because we do giveaways all the time. And you have plenty of opportunities to win something. So don't feel like you're being phased out because you're not. So then next Thursday for Tutorial Thursday, I haven't decided what we're going to do yet. I would like to try just one more new thing with you guys. But I think if I could get it done in steps, I could show you, okay, we did step one. Okay, so now we're gonna do step two. Um, or we could embellish that painting that cracked. So I haven't decided yet what I wanna do for sure. Thank you, Joanne, I appreciate you. And Joanne, I will send you that invoice. Um, I, I, I have them pulled, they all dried beautifully. I was waiting for the drying phase before I was going to send you an invoice. Um, I do have a few commission pieces that I have to get done. So, um, maybe I will film those because they're actually fun pieces that I'm comfortable with. So, I may film those. I usually don't film my commission work, but that's not anybody that... They don't watch my channel, so I really don't care. <laughs> um, and then the following week we'll always do a premiere on Saturday the following week we will be live on Tuesdays at 8pm and then Friday will just be a plain video that will pop up during the day and then our premieres on Saturdays I'm still bouncing around the channel memberships I had a couple of negative feedbacks about that um because then we go back to singling people out. So if you want to learn something and you want to see how it's done, although I'm not going to be doing Tutorial Thursdays anymore, if you email me, we can do it on a Monday night. Um, you know, I don't want to say, oh, well, we're done with tutorials. But m at most everything has been covered on a Tutorial Thursday. We did a whole year of these except for the three weeks that I had COVID. So everything should be in the playlist for you to find. Okay, Emily, thank you. So with that being said, guys, Saturday premiere. Um, Brian is not going to do a live on Sunday. He changed his mind. 
So I will see you back here on Monday. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Bye now.